Hi guys, welcome back to Golden Reviewer. Uh, today we are not going to do any phone review or test, but I'm going to show you how I do all my tests or exactly what software I use to record the FPS and the power consumption during gaming. And this question has been asked countless times in my comments. And uh, now is the answer to all these questions. So the software I've been using is called uh, PerfDoc. I think it's a software uh, developed and published by Tencent to help developers tune their software performance. So I, I'll put the link down below in the description. So if you want to use this, you can head to this website, as you can see here. And uh, you should uh, create an account first, of course, and then you just download this client. Uh, as you can see here, I'm using Windows, so I'll download the Windows version. Okay, so after you've downloaded the software, uh, you extract it from the zip file, and you see something like this. Then you run the perfdoc.exe. Then of course, it will ask for your account, and then you just key in your account as you register just now. So after you have successfully logged in, you will see this interface now, like here. And this is the main interface of the PerfDoc software. And this is where we monitor the FPS and power consumption and everything. So you click the top left corner. And as you can see here, uh, it gives out a warning or arrow saying that I don't have any devices connected. To test an Android device, you need to make sure that your device is connected to your computer via ADB. So you have to turn on the USB debugging, you have to install the ADB driver on your PC. Uh, how to do that? You can Google for it. It's not in the scope of this tutorial. All right. And then for iPhone, it's easy. You just install iTunes and make sure that your iPhone can connect to this PC via iTunes, and then it will be fine. Okay, I'll show you with my iPhone first. As you can see here, it will give out a pop-up saying that the iPhone has been connected. And if you head to the top left corner again and select a mobile device, you actually see the iPhone. And there are two ways of connecting. Usually, we'll just use the wireless way because uh, I, I don't want to use a cable to connect to the device. So I just choose the wireless. But you have to make sure that your PC and the iPhone is on the same router. So your PC could be connected via uh, cable and your iPhone through Wi-Fi, that's fine. But they have to be connected to the same router. Or otherwise, this may not work. Okay, so currently it's preparing. And now it's finished. It says please disconnect. And now we can remove. Uh, we can unplug the cable on the iPhone. And you can see the software has already, uh, uh, get the iPhone information. It's uh, iPhone twelve Pro Max, and uh, the OS version is fourteen point three. The CPU tab and everything is here, and we can actually start testing now. Okay, now actually uh, I'll use the Genshin Impact game as an example. Uh, so as you can see here, on the select the application options, you choose the game you want to test. Here I choose Genshin Impact and wait for it to finish preparing. Now it has finished and uh, you see there is nothing here. There is no data. That's because the game is not launched. Yeah, on the on the iPhone, right? And uh, actually, you can customize what you want to show here. For example, if I'm not too interested in CPU and RAM usage, I can uh, disable this. While I can choose battery temperature and battery, which is actually showing the power consumption. Okay, so now let's launch the game on the iPhone. And you start to see some data, okay? Hmm, okay. 
okay uh, it's asking me to update but now now mind uh, it, it doesn't really matter right even if it's in the menu you can see that uh, we are we are having the fps and uh, battery figure here uh, it, it doesn't matter whether you are in the game or in the menu or anything let's uh, you can see here in the menu we are having a 60 fps and of course the menu does not have any uh, complex graphics right and um, uh, if you you notice the the battery figure here actually only refresh once every 20 seconds or so this is heavily uh, device dependent for some devices this uh, refreshes very fast while for others um, it takes a long time to refresh all right um, but usually the fps um, is uh, pretty real time uh, as you can see here we are as you can see here we have uh, about uh, one sample point per second and it's quite accurate okay so when you want to actually start uh, recording the fps and everything when you start to play the game and you want to uh, start testing you can press this button on the top right corner this uh, you can see start stop recording data and support upload to cloud okay let's start and you can see a timer here that means you've already started recording the fps data actually it automatically records all data right including the temperature the battery the fps and everything um just using this as an example so we only record uh, 20 seconds and that's fine and let's press stop and it will give you an option to save the data as well as upload it to the cloud what about let's just upload it okay so you click uh, confirm and wait for it to upload and to view your results you need to go back to the perfdoc website right this this is their main website and you see the top right corner when you have already logged in it will show you something like enter perfdoc we click that and here we see the recording we just did the first one right the latest one will always be on top we can click this to go in give it a bit of time to load and we can see the result so you you have an overview here and uh, like the fps the average power the most important data is here and uh, then you can scroll down for detailed uh, performance breakdown okay so here is fps and you can see the average fps is 59.5 across because we are just sitting in the menu and scroll down scroll down and you can see the battery this is what i always show you it has an average power and of course if you put your cursor somewhere uh, uh, in between you can always check the exact F, uh, data at any point in time okay and you have uh, temperature and of course you have the ram usage network but those are not that interesting so i usually don't show them okay that's all for today's video i hope this helps and answers the questions from all of you i've been asked this countless times how did you test the fps how did you do it what's the name of the software and this is the answer so uh, check this out and uh, of course remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't to and also share this to your friends if you feel they are interested in this thank you see you next time